and say somebody else did it or say I'm beefing with somebody. How long did you think? And I like that quote. When I post that tweet about the 3T effect, he was like, he posted the bar Molly quote. How long will we let our prophet sit by? Bro, what I just told you already, people trying to kill me and my family right now. You think I'm going to tweet that out to y'all if I'm playing? Do you think I'm going to tweet that out to you? Do you think I'm going to tell y'all that? I'm telling those who follow me that so that when the shit hit the news that he ain't going or have it got to go like a whole whatever went down, you know how the media going to do it. They're going to try to misconstrue it and flip it and they run that. So you can't believe nothing coming out of no media, nigga. That's why when I spoke about the brother polite situation, I wasn't taking up for that, nigga. I don't even know God. I was speaking about the actual fact how these people will do anything. They'll hit you with tax evasion. They'll hit you with false charges. Or they'll flat out kill you. Or they'll just tarnish your image. Y'all ain't seen me going through this public tarnishing of my image. Y'all ain't seen. You've already seen that. That's how it started with me. It started on Facebook. And they started sending me death threats. I kept teaching. I kept teaching. While all them fake motherfuckers made videos saying I was an agent and this and that nigga, I kept teaching. You get what I'm saying? I kept teaching. They kicked me off Facebook for a whole month. That was the elites warning me then. I came to Instagram. They start kicking me off Instagram. Those are warnings from the elites. Then they started fucking with my life. You can't get on this bitch no more without it ever lagging. Hell, this page was just blocked for what, a month? Those are all warnings from the elites. Oh, nigga, you better shut the fuck up, nigga. Oh, you gonna keep talking? Kick him off. How many times have I been kicked off Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook? You think they gonna keep playing with me? No. Okay, his ass ain't learned yet. We got him. You are, oh, so you want to keep playing these games. You want to keep talking this shit. Okay. Fuck who you protected by. Remember, this is a war. The fallen gods don't fear who I'm protected by. Remember, these are the same gods that turned on us in the beginning. Do I fear them? Hell no. I'm letting y'all know the revolution has begun with me. That's what I'm letting you know. Despite all the death threats I got that none of these fake ass niggas ever got. You bitch ass niggas was doing it for views. Y'all ain't got the, the, the people trying to kill y'all. Y'all don't. Nigga, I went to Fayetteville County, nigga, and stood up for us. Y'all took that shit as the internet. Did you think they was going to let that slide? Who the fuck he think he is? He going to come out here straight up to the whole police department, him and his little wife? Who they think they is? Oh, we got them. It was the internet for y'all last, nigga. And I knew that too. So I don't expect nobody that's watching me to ride with me. You hear me? And I'm not holding it against you. You couldn't ride if you wanted to. Nigga, how you gonna ride, nigga? We, we all scattered around. We all link here. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no coordinating. Revolution ain't gonna never be televised. Nigga, it's just gonna be. When they saying kicking me off social media platforms ain't work, Guess what they resorted to next? They started paying little YouTubers to attack me. Nigga, it ain't a motherfucking YouTuber that ain't attack me. It ain't a nigga call they self awoken that ain't sneak dish me. How many have I put on a pedal stool? Meanwhile, they sneak dissing me. From Young Pharaoh to Ralph Smart to Spiritual Soul to the series Inner Temple bitch ass nigga. All these fake imposters, nigga. How many celebrities have I called out, nigga? How many? 
I ain't never moved with no fear and I ain't never hear, hear, hear nothing from no nobody follow me, nigga. I'm an example of keeping it too real. Now these people want to kill me. I don't break none of they bitch made man laws, but they don't care about that. They want me. They want to silence me. And they ain't going to come out and say, hey, we're trying to silence him. That's never how the game go. They make up bullshit to come at you sideways. And if you do get aggressive, then they use that as their reason to get aggressive. When in reality, they wanted to get aggressive with you from jump. You Let me ask y'all something. You think these people don't know who Rashad Jamal is? You ain't got to like me. You ain't got to believe shit I ever told you in a lecture. But ask yourself this. Do you think the government, do you think Queen Elizabeth, do you think all these fallen gods don't know who the fuck I am? This shit is the internet for you. Nigga, Cappy Pond Dexter. Put a whole accusation on LeBron James. Ain't nobody slid on the nigga. But when a bitch put an accusation on any other motherfucker, niggas go down. I use that as an example to show you where we are as a whole. Not one media outlet took up for our sister Captain Pondexter. She's a goddess. I ain't see one outlet to cover the story, nigga. But when I covered the story, they intensified the spells on me. The attack intensified. Y'all know what did it? My video about Cappy Pond Dexter. That was it for them. Nobody else covered that. Why you bitch made house Negroes want to question why I attacked Tasha K and Hassan Campbell? Where was y'all when Cappy Pond Dexter, a black goddess, said LeBron James had. Is a part of pedophilia and sex trafficking. I don't see one motherfucker. Speaking out. Not one. But you bitches got the nerve to fix y'all lips. When an accusation comes on a brother polite. Or, or anybody in the conscious community on any type of level. That's where you go wrong with me. I say, you know what? I'm going to speak up for her. And as a result, my, my family is being. You feel me? Nigga, she said her truth. And you ain't heard from her since, nigga. I told y'all they was going to take her back to the underground lab. Nobody listened. I was the only one made a video about her on YouTube to tell her story. The video then had 100,000 views and got deleted. They told me.